Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a raven. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom left side, make a small mark for the lower section of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower section of the body. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. On the top right side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. This circle should be about half the size of the first circle. Inside the head, draw a horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. On the right side of the head, draw a small arc as a guide for the beak. Extend the line for the horizontal construction guide as you draw this arc. Pay attention to the size of this arc in relation to the head. Under the body, draw an angled line as a guide for the leg. Bend the leg near the middle to indicate a joint. At the bottom, draw a short horizontal line as a guide for the foot. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. The shape of the neck should be wide. On the lower left side of the body, draw a big triangular shape as a guide for the tail. The tail should be about the same length as the entire body. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on the top right side near the top edge of the beak. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Now shade the rest of the eye. Use a value that's slightly lighter than the pupil to shade the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the bare skin. Use the arc on the right as a guide to draw the beak. Draw a series of short strokes along the left side of the arc for the feathery base of the beak. Draw longer strokes to the right for the bristles that cover the nostrils. Darken the arc for the top part of the beak. Draw a horizontal line across the arc for the beak's opening. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Extend the line to the left so that it's inside the head. Darken the bottom edge of the arc for the lower section of the beak. Add a few short strokes under the beak for feathers. Use the initial circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Follow the path of the circle to create the shape of the head. Make the top right side of the head wider than the circle where the head connects to the beak. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the shape for a feathery texture. On the bottom right side, draw longer strokes along the guideline for the longer feathers on the throat. Lightly sketch a long curved line across the entire body for the folded wing. 
extend the line to the left so that it's inside the shape of the tail. When you get the shape right, darken the line. Curve the line up slightly across the middle a couple of times to indicate the feathers. The left side of the shape should be thin and pointy. Draw a series of sloping lines across the middle of the shape for the feathers. Use the angled line at the bottom as a guide to draw the leg. Draw a small shape at the top that's made up of short strokes for the feathery base of the leg. Lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. Sketch the shape of the foot and toes around the guideline at the bottom. When you get the shape of the leg and foot right, darken the lines. Make the tip of each toe pointy for the nails. Draw the bottoms of the toes curved. Make the toes long and thin. Add another long thin shape slightly higher than the toe on the right for the middle toe. Not all the toes will be visible from this angle. To the left, draw the back section of the leg that's on the other side of the body. Add a long thin shape at the bottom for the toe that points backward. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. On the right side, draw a couple more long thin shapes for the toes that point forward. Make the tips of the toes pointy. A big part of this leg will be hidden behind the first leg. Draw the feathery base of the leg at the top. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the legs as you darken the shape of the body. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the bottom part of the body for a feathery texture. Use the big arc on the left side as a guide to draw the tail. Add a few sloping lines inside the shape for the individual feathers. Make the shape of the tail slightly thinner than the initial guide. Draw a couple more curved lines for more feathers. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Ravens are black so use a dark value across the entire body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to dark values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Shade a few sections on the head and across the body using a lighter value for highlights on the feathers. As you shade, use strokes that go in the direction of the feathers. The strokes mainly have a diagonal orientation across the body. Shade a few curved shapes across the wing for the individual feathers. Use a lighter value for the beak and the legs. Leave a thin section on the beak blank for a highlight. Add a cast shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming. So be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the Raven. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit HowToDrawAnimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then DrawAnimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.